Hi everybody, Kristen here. Um, just wanted to give everybody an update. We opened the box on Friday night and had the most surreal weekend ever. Um, first we had our kids variety show that started at 7 and we decided that that show was going to be free. We just wanted to bring people down to the space so they could see it and see the kids and just you know, see what we've been doing, and and we had about 80 people show up. It's crazy. I, you know, this is just so strange that that many people came. And then at 10, we had a surprise performance by these amazing improvisers called the Pajama Men. They're just so good. They're originally from Albuquerque. They're Mark and Chinoa, and they used to be part of Trick Lock. I believe, and then they moved to Chicago and became part of Second City. And so now they tour all over the country and do their two-man show, and they're amazing. So they were at the space on Friday night at 10, and we sold out completely. There was no place else to sit. There were people sitting on blocks and people standing. I mean, how do we sell out our opening night show? I mean, how is that possible? I don't know. Um, and so that was crazy. It's crazy. Completely. Um, it was so surreal to see that many people, you know, over 90 people in our little space. I mean, it was so strange. Um, and then on Saturday night, we didn't have as good of luck, but we had some people that came in to see the 10 o'clock improv show that night, so that was really good. Um, you know, it's it's good that people have found us. we have found where we are. Um, I think I've got some video of the line that was outside our space on opening night, so I can put that in here. We're sorry, we're going to let you guys in now. <laughs> no, we'll keep it going here. We didn't figure that out yet. Yeah, go ahead and shut it. We need a sign. And, um, what else? It's just been crazy. Um, I guess on other notes, um, I've been trying to get back into the better habit of taking care of myself again. So I made all these doctor's appointments and they did my blood work again and I got another ultrasound for my thyroid. And went to the doctor today, and they said that there is absolutely nothing they can do. And I just, I don't know. I mean, you would think that they'd be able to do something. Oh, this might be my cat in the way here, just a second. Come here, kitty. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'll see if I can show you. You can see my thyroid nodule. It's my nodule. Um, I mean, there's nothing they can do. Um, so I don't know. My, my blood tests come back normal, yet I have this huge nodule on my thyroid. Um, and you know, I have, I know that I can't, you know, blame everything on the thyroid as far as like my weight problems and everything, but, you know, where, I don't know. I don't know what the problem is or how to fix it or anything. I'm just really frustrated because I don't know what else to do at this point. Um, so, yeah. Um, I had a really bad cold, but I guess that's getting over with. So, basically went to the doctor's office today to give them 20 bucks so they could say, there's nothing we can do for you at all. I'm like, thanks a lot. Jerks. That's how doctors are. They like that. Um, 
What else? We've been doing some temp work for a temp agency. Um, worked at the CPA's office checking people's taxes. And I think on Wednesday, I'm going to be starting a new job, so that should be very exciting. Um, what else? I don't know. You know, just things have been very... You know, everything's been really good lately, except for this, my whole trying to take better care of myself. Um, I'm going to try really hard to start taking my vitamins again and start getting breakfast every day like I used to. Um, and then as soon as I've got some money, I think I'm going to join the gym again and see if I can start going and doing some exercise and things. I think the Power 90 failed because it was only for 90 days and there was nothing past that. And I need to make a significant life change that's going to last for a long time. So, hopefully, look at that. Um, and Glenda is here. Um, I guess that's all. And I hope everybody's doing great and I hope that if you get the chance, you can come down and see the space. It's so beautiful and homey. And I'm just really excited that I'm actually doing something with my life that I've always wanted to do. I love everybody. And I'll talk to you soon. All love.